glad to start. Many thanks for staying with us. And uh, you're still on to TVC Brief. As we're turning our attention to another story now, in line with this desire to strengthen security in the state and safeguard its local communities, Lagos State Governor Kimumi Ambodi on Monday inaugurated the 7,000 strong neighborhood safety corps. And uh, correspondent Adedoja Salam Adini has the story. Ready for job. More than 100 of them will be deployed to different local communities not to compete but to complement the efforts of other security agencies in policing the state. This is about the God in Lagos communities. The fully kitted core members' role include intelligence gathering, maintaining law and order, and protection of lives and properties across the 57 local council areas of Lagos. Drawn from different local communities themselves, these ones understand the terrain. It means the governor is coming to the masses entirely because we always see it. now we are feeling it is coming down to the local government. I'm really excited, very excited. I am ready to work. We are like tigers ready to hit the road and we are ready to hit the ground running right, right immediately. Ready for your station, sir. Right from the onset, the major thrust of Akimu Miyamoto's administration had been the security of lives and property of Lagos residents and investors. The governor demonstrated this with the donation of security equipment worth billions of naira. The neighborhood core is meant to complement all that. We have invested heavily in providing them with state-of-the-art equipment and assessment. We are launching today 170 saloon cars and vehicles it will be necessary communication gadgets to be distributed across our local governments, three parts, local government and LCDA. Motorcycles with full riders protection kits, such as helmets, knee and ankle guards, to ensure their personal safety for each of our 377 wards across the state. 4,000 bicycles to quietly patrol and engage our communities. Letters get detectors to ensure that illegal weapons are not smuggled into public places. Other operational equipment, such as plastic restraints, batons, long-range torchlights, and whistles are provided. Governor Abadi also wants the State Assembly to come up with another bill to regulate domestic workers. This bill will prescribe regulations for this set of workers and other details to monitor the activities. There's no room for child abuse or underage workers in Lagos. It has been discovered that domestic workers are largely undocumented and pose a grave security threat in the state. The recruiting agencies must be licensed and regulated as well. It is expected that the visible presence of the core members in a particular community would reduce crime drastically. The neighborhood safety agency hotlines are Adidoja, Salama Dini, TVC News, Lagos. All right, it was a very exciting day in Lagos yesterday as the governor launched uh, the Lagos Neighborhood uh, Security or Lagos Neighborhood Safety Corps initiative. Uh, before we go into all of that, uh, let's bring you the news update first. All right, you're welcome back. You're watching TVC Breakfast. And yes, we are looking at the Lagos Neighborhood Safety Corps initiative. And we're now joined by a lawmaker in the Lagos State House of Assembly, Honorable Tunde Braimo. Good morning and thanks, sir, for joining us. Good morning. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Great. Now, uh, some observers have applauded uh, this uh, launching of the Lagos Neighborhood Safety Corps initiative, uh, but they have concerns that uh, there seems to be some kind of proliferation of, you know, uh, different uniformed uh, corps and, and platforms. Uh, what's your take? How would you respond to that? Well, uh, each uh, uniformed or regulated authority has its own specific functions. So the fact that, uh, uh, you don't forget the population of Lagos State, 
The population of Lagos stands at 21 million plus and still counting. And uh, for a cosmopolitan state that is rapidly growing at the rate at which Lagos is going, security is a major and grave concern. To attract investment, to give people a, 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 a good livelihood, and to make uh, Lagos a safe haven for all to live, we need to do all we can do in terms of security to enhance the peaceful and uh, 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 the tranquility of Lagos must be enhanced at all times. So having 7,000 people more to join the security apparatus of Lagos State is even still below uh, capacity. If you know what the United Nations prescribed, uh, an average of uh, maybe about a policeman to about 100, 100. people. In Lagos State, we have about uh, we have less than less than 300,000 policemen in Lagos State. That's quite dismal. And to have the, what we have now today is uh, to give uh, Lagos the kind of pedestal it requires to stand in the community of states. So are you equating the COP with the police in terms of training, in terms of know-how, in terms of exposure to equipment? Would you say it's, it's the same thing? No, of course no. Of course not. It, what, what we are saying, uh, I don't want to be mis misunderstood, mm. without equivocation, is that the police... The, the neighborhood, uh, Lagos neighborhood court is to assist and complement the efforts of the police and not to compete with the police. The, the, the neighborhood uh, safety corps are not in any way empowered to carry the kind of sophisticated arms that the police, or leather weapons that the police carry. They are just there to majorly provide intelligence gathering to complement the efforts of the police. They are to assist, to support and to complement the police and not to compete or to equate with the police. Uh, of course, some are already saying, you know, is, is this community policing uh, through the back door? Now, uh, reading or uh, looking at the reason why Lagos State set up this neighborhood security or safety corps, uh, part of its uh, job is to uh, fight crime. How will they e effectively fight crime if they will not be empowered in terms of uh, carrying arms and ammunition. things, ammunition? Well, fighting crime does not contain, uh, does not consist of uh, carrying arms or leather weapons alone. It does not consist of uh, combat, co 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 combative activities alone. Fighting crime has so many departments and so, uh, so many imports and agents. Intelligence gathering, intelligence is very important. Knowledge they say is power. Without knowledge, there could be no uh, adequate mechanism to repel or resist crime. Uh, intelligence gathering, because the people live within the communities. This is a community-based organization. The neighbor watch uh, is not going to be elitist, it's not going to be so professional that people will be imported or transport uh, uh, or transferred from one section of the country, of one section of the state to another. The people who are going to be operators of this uh, scheme are going to be resident, ordinary residents within the communities that they serve. This is to ensure, because um, uh, armed robbers and uh, nefarious criminals are not ghosts. They live with the people. We know them and they know us. So when we live together, there is a way we can, uh, we can, we can expose their criminalities. Mm, so the some... basic thing that they are supposed to be doing, really, is to uh, could you shed some light on the recruit yes, uh, shed some light on the recruitment process and what were the uh, consideration for recruitment of this uh, five thousand or so strong um, force of uh, neighborhood uh, watch? Yes, the 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 city director. I mean, the, the the requirements for someone to be qualified to work uh, in the agency or the corps is to be somebody who's ordinarily resident within the environment in which he or she is meant to serve. That is one. Number two, the resident status must be so, uh, uh, must be so asserted to by LASRA, Las, that Lagos State Registration Agency. And of course, the people must be satisfied by their community development associations as people of impeccable character and uh, good integrity. There must be no criminal past criminal record. The people must be fit because at times it may require them to be able to move swiftly from one location to the other. So the people must be swift and they must uh, above all 
the people of proven integrity. These are the few requirements. And of course, basic education, school certificate, not more than that, because we don't, uh, it's not an elitist uh, scheme. It's a scheme that we uh, assist the people, the ordinary residents of the community, to be able to watch over their own community and report on toward activities to the Nigeria police. All right, so you're, you're taking the words of the people, the words of the, the people in the community for, for it. I'm a bit worried because even in the standardized Nigerian police and the Nigerian army, there are bad eggs amongst them. Mm -hmm. The issue of kidnapping, some perpetrators are, are military men themselves or policemen themselves. And now these people are domiciled within the people, uh, within, within the community. And all you want them to do is gather information. I, I, I'd like you to... I mean, rest the fear of the people in terms of culpability of this man. Uh, well, well, let me explain further. Let me just uh, illustrate uh, by way of elucidation that that if the, the, the police, Nigerian police force is just one entity, policemen will be transferred from Casina, from, from Rivers, and? from Eboi, from Kogi, from wherever, yeah. maybe into Lagos and vice versa. The people that are coming in are not superwomen, they're just human beings. They will not know the terrain. They cannot readily uh, you know, master the terrain of whatever they are serving just as dramatic or as miraculous or mysteriously as we will expect them to do. But this, the difference between the neighborhood corp, corp scheme and the Nigeria police is that this is a community-based organization. These are people that are living within the community. Let me tell you, even if a neighborhood watcher is corrupt or is already impugned or uh, is, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, uh, overridden by nefarious activities. People will expose him himself. We know each other. Let me tell you my street now. I know who lives there. I know whom is what. I know what everybody does. We know each other. You know where you live. You, you are aware of your environment. You know who comes in, who goes out. We know these things ordinarily as human beings. We know these things. We know ourselves in terms of neighborliness. So when we see somebody that is but we know them, those that we may not be able to say it. But this is an opportunity, this is a kind of a, a voice given to the people because there is cooperation and collaboration within the scheme and the Nigeria police. We, they have the equipment, they have the uh, a communication gadgets to communicate the police. They have a, an organized scheme and a standard organogram that which they can relate with the authorities of the law enforcement agencies. So it makes it easier, it makes it better People are not ordinarily afraid to get involved in what does not concern them. Because when you say you expose somebody, a criminal, you are afraid of repressor. You don't want somebody to come for you. But these people are paid to do a job, mm -hmm. and they will do the job. And when they are not doing the job, the CDAs, who ordinarily are the kind of sponsors of these individuals who are serving on the scheme, we know what to do in the area. All right. We have also embark on advocacy to show that everybody must be aware yes. of his own surrounding. Mm -hmm. People must be conscious of the environment. And neighborhood policing begins with you if everybody is asked Everybody has that responsibility to police its own environment. All right. Uh, just hold on for us today, Brimo, as we come back uh, from this break. We'll take a short break now. Uh, we'll take you up on issues of uh, training, of course, and funding for this uh, neighborhood watch. Who's going to be paying? An infiltration of their ranks. Mm -hmm. The possibility of that. Right, our focus right now is the Lagos Neighborhood Safety Corps Initiative by the Lagos State Government. Of course, <laughs> that was launched uh, yesterday. And our guest is uh, a lawmaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Honorable Tunde Buraimo. Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, uh, very quickly, what, what manner of training has gone into, uh, you know, these uh, recruits, uh, especially as it concerns how they interface with the public? We don't want to remind you of how, uh, you know, the challenges between the police and the public in general. So uh, shed more light on that for us. Well, they, they, they have been trained in the arts of human relations. They've been trained in the habit of uh, politeness, uh, about dedication to duty and focus on the points on which they are set out to make. The people have been uh, educated and have been uh, taken through the rudiments of uh, civility, which is the modern trend now. It's uh, the age of uh, brutality, the age of uh, police uh, 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 maximum activities are, are far gone. 
So what is uh, in vogue now, even the Nigerian police is now championing the cause of being friendly with the citizenry. There's no way you can police the people, there's no way you can serve the people without, being, without earning their trust. And the governor emphasized that much yesterday mm. at, the, at the inauguration, that the people must earn the respect of those they are employed to serve, and they must befriend the people, and they must know that it's only through the cooperation and collaboration of the people that they can have useful intelligence, useful information to share uh, or to work on. Okay. So uh, it's very important that they, they, they work. Uh, right. so, so some have asked that, that, that uh, the, the, the duration of the training is enough because I, I correct me if I'm wrong. I thought they were recruited in January, mm -hmm. and this is March. If, if that's enough uh, enough time to to churn out people who are credible and up to the task, but that's uh, that's by the side. Uh, tell us how the, you, the, the Lagos State Government, would uh, kind of um, fund. Yeah, about, okay, fund mm -hmm. and uh, educate the people themselves to know and how? understand how to relate with uh, this uh, men of the call. And in terms of infiltration, how will that be curtailed if there are chances of that? Uh, well, uh, in terms of uh, the duration of the training, uh, I'm able to say that training is a continuous exercise, it's a continuous process. It is not a one off thing, it's not something that you do and you turn your eyes away. Mm -hmm. Training and retraining are part of human development, developmental schemes and programs in any human endeavor. So I believe that uh, training the core members will be a continuous exercise. We just give them the rudiments, we just give them the basics in the beginning. And of course, they will continue to upgrade them and to uh, put them uh, to speed on uh, matters of uh, contemporary importance. Also, talking about the uh, payment. Uh, the, the funding of the scheme. The fund is, uh, though the security trust fund is expected to come in at some point uh, in some of these, but basically the Lagos government will do the funding, will do the payment of salaries and emoluments for, 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 this, for, the, for the scheme uh, workers because provision of uh, security for lives and properties is about the most basic, the most preponderant, the most singular the most important function of any government. All so right. If government relegates uh, provision of security for life and property for other economic or social development, then we we'll have ourselves to blame. What All is right. The Thank of you very much. We'll have to we'll have to leave it there. Uh, Tunde Brahim, a lawmaker, Lagos State House of Assemblies, uh, of course, on the Lagos Neighborhood Safety Core Initiative. All right, uh, there's more to come on Talk Time. That's next. That's where we're going next. And we'll be looking at what is making the Naira tick. Things are looking good for the Naira now. Stay with us.